welcome back to my channel. This week has been a pretty testing week for all of us, so I'm gonna help indulge you with a little bit of escapism and talk through a good old winter haul. So this is comprised of various bits and pieces that I've thrifted over the last few weeks. Um, I was looking specifically for really cosy knits, layering pieces, and any other thing that caught my eye really, but specifically I just wanted to snuggle up, I wanted to hide away from the world a little bit in some of these pieces. I'm really excited to show you what I've got. So um, before we get into it, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you could subscribe and if you'd like this video, that'd be perfect. Um, let's get into it. First piece is this beautiful shirt from Viella or Viella, I'm not sure. As you can see, it's got lovely detailed beading all the way down the front placket, which I just love. Um, it's 100% it's polyester, but it's got a really nice soft feel to it. It's got a nice sheen as well. Oh my God, the bin men are outside. Oh. <laughs> they didn't wave. Okay, they didn't see me, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So it's got a really nice sheen, a really nice feel to it, and it was £3.50, so it's a proper bargain. I saw this shirt a few weeks before I actually bought it and I thought to myself, really love this kind of me. Obviously you can see I've got this, this shirt on which is very similar um, and that's the reason I didn't buy it at first because I thought I don't need a duplicate. But actually the beading has won me over and also I wear short, um, shorts, not in winter, I wear shirts a lot because they're a perfect layering piece. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this on. It feels nice, looks nice. I think it's very versatile beaded detail, £3.50, what's not to love? Oh, I've, I've molted on it. Okay. Mm. The next item is this leather belt. So it's part leather by the buckle, and then it's got this elasticated fabric as well to cinch you in at the waist. Um, it's from Therapy, which is from House of Fraser, and it was £2.50 in the charity shop. Now I have noticed, I don't know if you can see, but I have noticed there is some slight scuffing or um, chapping of the leather, but for £2.50 I'm pretty pleased. I, I wanted a big wide belt to cinch me in at the waist for some of the things I'll be wearing over the Christmas period, so this is just perfect. Um, I like the colour as well, it's quite a warm brown, and the hardware on the buckle is kind of faded, slightly tarnished, so it looks quite old and I like that. Pleased with that. This next item I thought was cashmere, and I was like, cashmere for £4? Yeah! Um, it's not, it's, it's a Marks and Spencer's fabric that they call cashmere I think, I've probably pronounced that wrong. Um, it's, as you might expect, it's super soft, it's really lovely, a really nice soft cream colour, big old polo neck, um, and it was £4 from the charity shop. It just feels really nice, it's a lovely layering piece. Um, some of the jumpers that you'll see in a minute I've put over the top of this because this acts like a little mini scarf and it's just super soft. Um, I love the cream because it goes with just about everything I own, bottom-wise and skirt-wise, so that's really useful. It's very versatile and it just, it makes me feel like I'm snuggled up in um, a super soft blanket. And who doesn't want that in this year and this time of year as well? So really pleased with that. And as I said, it's £4, so can't go wrong. This one is also from Marks and Spencers. It's, it's exactly the same jumper except for the colour. This one is a blue slash teal kind of colour um, and it was 10p cheaper. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's 3.90. Maybe they thought, they thought it was a slightly less desirable colour. But again, it's made from Marks and Spencers Cash Millen. I feel like I'm gonna say it in an accent, but I'm not gonna. Um, it's made from Marks and Spencers Cash Millen fabric, so it's really soft and it's, maybe slightly less versatile than the cream because neutrals go with everything and blue maybe doesn't go with everything, but it's a nice pop of color because I don't have that much color in my wardrobe at the moment. I'm really all about the, the neutrals. So, ah, I just like it so much. On to a chunky cable knit. So this is from Next originally. And the colour, the tone of it reminds me of gingerbread, which is obviously it's perfect for this time of year. It is a little bit itchy. Um, I have quite sensitive skin and I suspect your regular person wouldn't find it itchy at all, but I do. So I'll be wearing it with uh, with my shirt, or my new shirt actually, underneath as a little bit of layering. I just love the colour. I really, I've really found an appreciation for neutrals and browns <laughs> this year. And this is one of them. I like the detail. Um, oh, I forgot how much it was. Hold on two seconds. I think this 
was four pounds and for a next jumper which is very good quality i'm really pleased with that this jumper was the most expensive jumper in my haul at five pound 25 and it's from new look and i i'm not a big fan of new look i've had some really nice denim from there before but new look i tend to think of as fast fashion a little bit and £5.25 for a jumper from there seems like quite a lot. However, I'm going to open it out and you can see it's a really beautiful berry colour and I love the Nordic print. Uh, it's not a print, is it? I love the Nordic pattern. It's knitted. It's very soft. Um, again, I'm going to keep saying this all throughout the video, but perfect for layering because I've got lots of polo necks now, as you'll see, that I can put underneath. And I like it with a berry coloured lip as well because it really pops soft um 5.25 but i i don't really mind i don't really mind i wouldn't have bought it if i didn't want to buy it obviously this jumper i got from online i got it from pre -worn, uh, a pre-worn site so it's from marks and spencers originally and it's as you can see a lovely camel color very soft not cashmere soft <laughs> or cashmere and soft but it is really soft and it's slightly baggy around the waist which is okay but i'll probably i'll probably wear it tucked into jeans just to give a bit more definition around the waist but again soft snuggly jumper good for layering theme of this video uh, i like the mock neck actually as well um for years i didn't used to like to wear things tight around my neck so this would have been a no-go but over over recent years i've just become more tolerant to it and actually quite like it I haven't tried it with a shirt underneath I don't know if the mock neck would kind of screw up the uh, I forget what these bits are called but I can give it a go it's just a nice casual soft warm jumper this next one was the joint most expensive I um, no joint most expensive jumper in my haul this is from Dorothy Perkins and as you can see lovely green forest green jumper cable knit um it was five pound 25 same as the the other most expensive jumper and it feels like a lot for dorothy perkins if i'm honest for a second hand dorothy perkins jumper but i put aside my thoughts about the brand and looked at the label um, looked at the jumper itself oh I keep molting i keep finding hair on the jumper i need one of those rollers for for my hair anyway <laughs> anyway so this jumper um what can i say about this jumper it caught my eye because i love forest green as you've seen i like a lot of neutrals which is great but every now and again you want a pop of color so i've gone for the blue i've gone for the berry and i went for this green it just felt really christmasy oh and actually i've been wearing it with one of the plaid um shirts that i thrifted one of the more christmasy um color combinations just poking out the collars poking out the top jumper and it's just perfect I really like it um I've been thinking about doing a Christmas or festive I should say festive season outfits video and although I was thinking about New Year's Eve staying in and kind of dolling myself up actually it would be quite nice to have a few slouching around the house in the Christmas holidays outfits as well and this this would be perfect for that it's just it's really warm it's really uh, really soft I feel should probably just add a disclaimer at the start of every video things that becky has bought will be warm and soft because <laughs> it's kind of a given really yeah i love the detail on this it's uh, it's so nice there's another marks and spencers one it's soft in fact it's the softest item in the haul it feels lovely it's really soft against my skin another mock neck and it's it's a warm brown almost reminds me of gingerbread but i think if my gingerbread was this color it would probably be bad um yeah another layering piece it's quite a slim fit but not too snug just the right balance oh how much was this one this one was three pound fifty so one of the cheaper items in the haul nice little top i've been wearing it with a gold brocade skirt which i will show you in the next video that is lovely and color combination looks pretty good i feel like a um sparkly gingerbread lady when I wear it final item in this haul is a jacket 
So I have a really beautiful um, kind of berry red corduroy jacket which is lined with faux fleece. It's really warm and I got it online second hand and I got it for I think £10. Um, my daughter has taken to wearing it to school and she loves it, really suits her, it suits her better than it suits me <laughs> quite frankly. Um, she's taken to wearing it to school and I kind of wanted it back. So I went online to the same, um, the same online shop and I found exactly the same jacket but just in off-white and it feels, it just, oh, it feels really nice. You know what cord feels like, and it, but it's really thick and it's lined with the with the fleece, which is really nice. And it's got a soft collar. It's a really warm, snuggly jacket. And this one was eight pounds. So it was slightly cheaper than the other one. I think maybe because maybe it's a less desirable color. I don't know, but she's been wearing it. She loves it. So that is the end of my haul uh, this video. Comment below, let me know which item was your favourite and why, I'd love to know. Um, stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.